For more than 10 years, I've witnessed the following basic patterns in business over and over again. The customer hires a company to solve a problem. The company assembles a team to tackle this problem, of course with a team leader. The customer wants to know how far the teams come along in solving the problem. The team leader asks the first team member who reports, I would have gotten started in production, but I'm still waiting for information from purchasing. So the team leader turns to the second team member and she says, everything is fine, I would have started a long time ago, but I am still waiting for information from controlling. And you can imagine how this chain of excuses makes it away across the entire company. Everybody is fine as far as their task is concerned while pointing the finger at somebody else. As a result, everybody is somehow buzzing around the problem, but they haven't actually started to work on the problem, the very task that the customer has paid good money for. So the logical consequence would be the team leader sees through this system and increases the pressure on the stuff. But all this does it make the existing process of finger pointing and shifting blame even more intense. But actually dealing with the problem, the task for which the customer is paying good money is still not sped up. This is a classic case of misuse of power. Almost every large company of organization on the planet is familiar with precisely these kinds of negative cycles that can be so destructive. The future of your business therefore depends on how well you as a manager are successful in transforming this energy and turning it towards actually solving the customer's problem.